Hey, hey, this is here from myhexel.com and we have a really cool series of tutorials about uh, creating the custom views. And uh, that's the one which uh, we're gonna make today. It's, just, it's like the progress circle from like apps for like uh, Google Fit or something. All right, if you never created a custom view, it's uh, really simple. Let me show you what uh, I have in here. So the basics is uh, you just extend the view and uh, implement uh, those uh, first two constructors and you've got a custom view, but it doesn't uh, draw anything. That's why we need to implement on draw method where you use canvas and paint. If you have to use canvas and paint to draw, it's uh, just like a sheet of paper and a pen. So canvas is like a paper. For example, we want to, uh, in this view, we need to draw a gray circle on the background and the foreground circle, like the red one, which displays the current value. Those are two methods. Draw circle, draw arc for the foreground. Give it the cent center of the circle coordinates paint and the radius draw arc it has a boundaries start angle minus 90 because uh, the zero in here is this position 90 degrees uh, clockwise that's why I set it to minus 90 which is this one and from this position we draw an arc which is described in the sweep angle for example let me show you what it looks like in the XML So this is uh, this is uh, something about uh, 250 degrees. Yeah, and of course we want uh, users to give the access to customize the view appearance, right? That's why we create uh, custom attributes like those. You just uh, create uh, arch.xml file, declare styleable name of the view, and those uh, attributes. I got eight so far. Start value is the uh, Let's say, for example, we want to gain uh, 10 kilograms of muscles, right? We start at 70, our goal is 80, and the current uh, weight is 77, right? This is the start value, co current value, and value. Then uh, you want uh, users to customize the animation duration, right? Which is uh, one second in here. Background color, foreground color, foreground uh, defaults to accent color, but you can change it, of course, in the XML. Stroke width, animation on display. This uh, flag sets whether the view animated by default when the screen is open, or you can just set it to false and uh, animate with the, with the show animation method which I will explain later. And let me show you how we apply the custom attributes. In the second constructor, we have attribute set as an argument, which is uh, all those attributes from the XML. We call this method read attributes and uh, set fields. Then I extract those uh, my custom attributes, set fields, values. Yeah, and that's it. Pretty simple. You can download the GitHub repository, which I will link on the video. All right, so we got our static view. How do we animate it? If you've done uh, any game development, uh, like with the uh, libgdx or something, this topic would be quite familiar with you. If not, then it's uh, a little bit uh, lower abstraction from the like the methods like animate the alpha or something you actually need to draw frames by yourself and since we know that it's uh, there is 60 frames per second drawn we basically know how many frames uh, you need to, to draw per our animation right 
for example the animation is one second there is uh, 60 frames in a second then we draw just 60 frames and uh, it appears like an animation right like this in most cases uh, it is it is uh, 60 seconds so there is a frame drawn each uh, 16 milliseconds approximately but you cannot rely on it on that right like what if uh, there is uh, like 20 frames per second that's why you need to to check that and uh, on draw method is called uh, just once right basically we want to call this method again and again till the animation is done we do that by invalidate method and we call it if uh, we animate on display and the current angle is less than the end angle which means that we still have some path uh, to draw to animate and here's the method which uh, animates the angle volume let me let's see if the animation start time is zero then we set uh, when then we set it to current time which means that we save the animation start time and then on each frame we check how much time passed since the beginning of the animation and we and we have the animation duration time for example it's uh, one second by dividing the current path over the animation time we have uh, the path count and we check and that's gonna be a float from zero to one if it's less than zero that means that we're still animating we multiply end angle by podcon which uh, returns the current uh, frame angle otherwise we just uh, set it to the end angle and that's it in this approach where you set the animation time animation start time and uh, check on each frame how much time how much path uh, gone from the start this uh, approach uh, does not consider the frame rate which is nice because uh, in this uh, in here you don't care about the frame rate you just uh, know that uh, for this position in time that's the animation that uh, should be drawn that's the angle should be and uh, that's what i call in animate button show animation which sets uh, animate flag display true animation reset the animation start time and set the current angle to zero and invalidate which uh, causes to call on draw method then it sets the uh, start animation time and draw uh, all the stuff so it's uh, quite a lot of stuff and as you see this uh, this stuff is uh, from the previous previous post and this uh, icon as well all right go ahead and download the github repository you should try it definitely by yourself yeah just the first part of the series there is uh, gonna be even uh, the cooler stuff in the future using interpolators and uh, text views and uh, all the stuff because you want to display the value right and so stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching